You know that old DVD player that you were uh, getting ready to throw out because it wasn't working anymore? Well, don't throw it out right away. Before you throw it out, take it apart and save the pieces. Look at all the cool stuff that you can get out of it. It only takes a couple of minutes. You got some nice gears down in there. You got a nice motor. And if you do model railroading like I do, you can use those um, these DVD motors to replace the power torque motors in the old Tyco train engines. And not only that, you got these pulleys, and I use pulleys out of a DVD player to uh, run my powered water wheel on my train layout. And if you're into building model cars, there's all kinds of neat little things, cars and trains, um, I have used in the past, let me swing you over in here, uh, I have used the coil things here, see those, whoop, doesn't want to focus. Those things there, they can be used on trains and in uh, for around buildings to make them look like real things. You can use these capacitors or resistors or whatever they are for rubbish barrels. And if you're doing a diorama for your model car, there's all kinds of things. The little tiny resistors that are down in here. Let me back out. These are pretty small. Depending on the scale you're using, you can use these things for generators or you can use them for uh, magnetos if you're going to put a magneto set up in. And some of the uh, little resistors actually are clear. Now look at that little resistor right there. Notice that it's clear. I used one of those on my 32 Chevy um, Hubbly kit. When I was building the hot rod, I used one of those to use it as a sight glass for the fuel tank. You know, that's the way they did it in the old days. Some of them just had a sight glass. You could also use it for a fuel filter uh, on a model car. So there's all kinds of good stuff in here. And, uh, and if you're getting into really small detailing, check out the size of these screws in here. Huh? You got to have some fine, fine screwdrivers, but they're there, and they're there free for the taking, you know. All you got to do is take a little time to pull them out of there. Yep, all kinds of good stuff. And uh, this one didn't have it, but some of them have little bags. These have square rubber things for their mount, uh, to act like a cushion. Or shock absorber. Some of them have these little bellow shaped things that look just like airbags. In fact, that's what I used. I use that on my 32 Chevy as well. I use some airbags out of one of these uh, DVD flares for my rear suspension. So there's all kinds of stuff you can use. Don't just throw it away. Oh, and look at the size of the wire. Spark plug wires or battery cables or it's only limited by your imagination. That's a tip from the Shade Tree Fix-It Man for your modeling, whether it's model railroading or model cars or airplanes, doesn't matter. There's all kinds of goodies in here. You paid for it, you used it, don't throw it away before you take out what you can continue to use. Till next time, this is George. How is that for a cool transformer to be hauling on one of your flatbeds, flat cars on your railroad? Bye now.